Welcome back. Uh, it's uh, early spring. We are here to prepare the boat for the season. Uh, we did some maintenance on the engine in the autumn before we winterized the boat. And uh, we changed the oil in the, in the engine. We changed the oil in the gearbox. Uh, we changed the filters and did uh, plenty of work on the engine. And uh, there were some, still some parts that need to be changed and remain to be changed. Uh, for example, the impeller, we haven't changed it in the autumn because we said it will stay there all winter and will be all crumbled up uh, in spring. So we're going to put a new fresh uh, impeller in, in the engine. We have one right here. These are original Beta Marine parts. This is uh, impeller, we have an uh, air filter over here and we have uh, a anode for the heat exchanger. We will be changing all of these three things uh, today and we will continue with uh, some other maintenance. So let's start by changing the air filter. This is very easy. The air filter is located here in this uh, box, in this cover. You unscrew the back lid. There we go. Take it off. And inside is the original air filter. Uh, let's have a look and see how it looks like. This is the original air filter. It's been inside for maybe five years. You can see that uh, on this side it's, uh, it's a little bit dirty. The rest of the filter it's, it's pretty okay, but uh, considering it's uh, only a few pounds price uh, we can we can swap it mm. so the procedure to install the filter is exactly the same as the procedure to take it out uh, just pop it inside and put the cover on. I can feel it sliding it into place. That's it. Now we put the cover on. Tighten it. And done. Air filter changed. Now we are going to be changing the impeller. Uh, this is the water pump. Uh, the impeller comes in here, we have uh, the O-rings, uh, I put a cloth underneath the pump and the pipe so when we open the cover if there is any antifreeze left from the autumn when we winterize the engine it will drop into the cloth and uh, we'll see how it goes, so let's get started. As you can see, the old impeller is all crumbled up, so uh, it's good that we haven't uh, changed the impeller in the autumn because it will be the new one would have been sitting here like this for six months. Uh, so now we're gonna put the fresh one in once we take this one out, and we'll see how that goes. So to take it out, uh, we just have to pull out. Uh, there is a, there is a screw which goes through the middle. But this is uh, just a retention screw so it, the impeller doesn't spin loose uh, when the axle turns. So all we should do now is just pull out and it should come out very easily. So this is the comparison of the, of the old impeller and this is the new impeller. I think it's safe to say that the old one can go directly into trash. Before we throw away the old impeller, we have to take the retention screw out. Uh, basically, it should be as easy as unscrewing this part over here. So we got the, the screw uh, coming in through the, through the new impeller, now we have to put the impeller into the water pump.
So we place the new input inside. Notice that these uh, parts are bended exactly the same way as the old input because it will be turning uh, clockwise. We have the rubber O-ring. This one looks perfectly fine, but uh, we will be changing that just in case to prevent any water leakage or spillage. and all the screws and the cover fits in nicely there we go so the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing the belt uh, this one has been on for six years uh, the engine has about uh, 250 hours, so it's not a, much, not a question of uh, how many hours the engine had, but uh, it's been there for six years. That means that the material gets uh, tired and worn. And worn. Uh, so we're going to take this thing off and put a new one in. Uh, this is a Micro V4 PK913. Uh, and it's the one which goes for the Beta Marine 20 engine. In order to change the belt, we have to loosen the alternator, take out the old belt, put the new one on, and then use a device which will spread basically the alternator. It will push it away. We can tighten it down again and strengthen it. You can see that this belt, it moves about uh, half a centimeter. If it's... Uh, that's the tension it should be having. belt there are these lines and the same lines are on the alternator and all the other parts of the engine and they have to match perfectly so uh, the belt doesn't jump out well we will be using this very special tool this wooden stick to push the alternator away from uh, to its original position which was over here and then we're going to tie down the nut Should be about the position it was previously in i can see it from the uh, marks so we tighten down the top screw position the alternate in the original position there were marks in the paint over here uh, where i can see where exactly the alternate was positioned before the belt is placed on and as you can see it tensions about half a centimeter which is exactly what we want what we needed and that's all, it was this easy. So once more, sorry for the light conditions, but uh, the boat is uh, undercover, so there's not much, light come, much sunlight coming in. Uh, last thing we're going to be changing is the anode uh, on the cooling system. I don't know if you can see it, it should be somewhere. Over there, that's the screw, you have to unscrew that from the heat exchanger and on the other side of the screw there is the smaller node which looks like this and we we're going to see we're going to be replacing that so uh, I don't think I can point the camera all the way into the back of the engine so next shot will be just the screw or the outside so as mentioned before I managed to take out the screw from the uh, from the uh, heat exchanger with the anode uh, you can see that the anode is uh, almost in perfect like new condition. This is the new anode. So honestly, uh, I don't see any point of changing the old one for the new one. Uh, I'm just going to screw the screw back in and leave it the way it is. I'm quite surprised that after six years of usage, there is hardly any, any uh, wear on that uh, old anode. So we'll be keeping the new one as a spare. And this one is coming back in the engine. Uh, so we prepare the engine for the spring startup. Uh, we basically change the impeller, uh, we check the anodes, uh, we change the belt. 
in the autumn, uh, before, when we winterized the boat, we put uh, new oil inside the engine, we changed the oil filter, the fuel filter, all the fuel filters on the fuel line. Uh, we drained the water separa uh, the fuel separation water separation tank and basically just now what the only thing left to do before we start the engine up here for the first time in the spring is to check the oil levels to make sure that uh, there was no leakage of oil uh, the oil level is fine all the way to the top as it should be i can already see as the engine bay is very clean and dry there was no spillage uh, of oil and we're also going to check the coolant level to make sure it's all the way to the top we did it in the autumn it's still all the way to the top so uh, i think uh, we're ready basically to hook up the engine uh, to to the water uh, make sure there is uh, water passing through the raw water cooling line and uh, turn the keys and let it run for 15 20 minutes to make sure uh, everything's fine, uh, that all the air left in the fuel filter is gone, uh, there are no bubbles and the engine is running smoothly. So that's it, next video will be uh, me starting up the engine.